I'm talking today about equalization, and for that, I apologize. It's a really complicated federal program. It's in the news these days because Canada's finance ministers are meeting in Ottawa, and even though equalization is not on the agenda, we expect it to be brought up by people like Alberta's finance minister, Joe Sisi. He is saying the equalization program is not being fair to Alberta. He's not saying what kind of changes he wants to see. And then meanwhile, back in Alberta, we've got Jason Kenney, the leader of the official opposition, demanding that Alberta hold a referendum to force Ottawa to renegotiate equalization. Well, it's not that simple. Equalization is a federal program paid for by federal tax dollars. What the federal government does is collects taxes across the country and then redistributes some of that money to the have-not provinces to help them provide a basic level of services to their citizens. And Alberta is a have province, but you've got politicians here making it sound like we directly give money to Quebec, for example. It doesn't work that way under equalization. But let's say that the program was to suddenly end tomorrow. It won't end tomorrow, but let's say it did. Then all of a sudden, the have-not provinces would be pleading with Ottawa for more money. And Ottawa would then dig into its treasury, use the tax dollars to send to the have-not provinces to make sure they can give a basic level of services to their citizens. Call it, oh, equalization. Now, there's no doubt the program could be improved. But what could also be improved is the level of political discourse shown by our politicians, especially in Alberta, when it comes to talking about the program. I'm Graham Thompson with the Edmonton Journal.